What? Well, I guess you know how this month ends. <laughs> September was the end of another chapter and this time it really did end too soon. But welcome back to my old room. <laughs> it's now my sister's room because she took it from me the minute I left. I'm going to break it to you now. This month was rough. What happened wasn't necessarily difficult or upsetting, but it was entirely underscored by a voice in my head telling me my time was finite, which caused more than my fair share of breakdowns. But September was also a month of complete blissful happiness. Blinded by not wanting to waste a second, I did things so uncharacteristically spontaneous that even I didn't know what I was doing. So are we ready? This is September. What month are we in? September. We're in September 2016 and you are watching Cramps. I have 21 days until I move and I'm gonna put myself out here right here right now September 1st every single day even if it's not on camera I am going to make the most of. That's it. I've got 21 days. Let's do this. Knitbray, 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 Knitbray. A little bit of a road trip. Trio, the trio of kings, the trio of kings, the kings. <laughs> set, set. Right, funny story. Uh, going to Poland. Right, let's go. I'm in Poland. What? I've always hated getting up early, but then I got to the hostel last night and I was told that if you leave at around 7.30, the city will be quiet. And oh my gosh, it's stunning. And I'm literally in the middle of the old town with no one else around. Funnily enough, when I, when I googled Warsaw, the first image that came up was what's behind me. It's a really weird sense of satisfaction seeing it as beautiful as it, as it is now with no one else around. I can't believe I'm in Poland. <laughs> The river runs at night too. I clean myself for you, but you still saw the past in me. My immediately been drawn to here 
is how colourful the buildings are. Basically what happened from as much as I've gathered so far, most of central Warsaw was completely destroyed in the Second World War, completely bombed, so it's all been rebuilt. But it's being rebuilt to replicate what it was like. And because of that, the colours are more vibrant. They're only about 30 years old. It's just really rich colours. It's quiet. And it has this really quaint, small town feel, even though we're in a major city. I'm really drawn to it. It's really peaceful. You can just let yourself get lost. I think that's what I like the most about it. Like fear and hate, I can't see that. Just open up your eyes The sun sets on I'm currently heading into the Jewish section. Poland has a very, very strong Jewish history. So I'm going to go to the Museum of the Polish Jews. And it's predominantly about from the 10th century to the present day. Uh, how Jewish faith has been incorporated into the history of Poland and of course the atrocities of what happened in World War II. So it's going to be sad but interesting. You feed it now. That plan has now been aborted because it's closed on Tuesdays because I didn't read the guidebook correctly. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the really huge cemetery where important Polish citizens and the general public are buried. Apparently it's all covered in moss so I think I should go and visit that. I think I can tell that I really went hard on it yesterday because I am knackered. You feed it now. You feed it now. There are two very different sides to Warsaw. You have the old town, the very aesthetically pleasing, colourful buildings, and then you have the very industrial part of Warsaw, which is apparently what the misconception is for a lot of people that Poland is like. I can see in your eyes that you mean it. I can feel in your arms that it's true In case you hadn't gathered yet, or you're new here, if so, welcome to me. I really like parks. This is the Les Yankee Park, and I really, really like parks, so this is ideal for me. And all of these years you've been lonely, not knowing just what you should do. Yes, you are right, I've been looking as well But babe, I'm not looking for you Babe, I'm not looking for you And I'm just as damn disappointed as you Only I just do better to hide it And the only thing that keeps me from falling for you is that I'm truly alone and I like it I'm truly alone and I like it I haven't seen Ella in a while Too long Too long Too long She left me She left Ella Back now <laughs> A little little casual thing at Zana's house and I get to see the people that I missed. I'm really excited. It's gonna be real fun. I think Sam's here. I can hear Sam. Hi! How are you? I'm good. Oh. I think you're crazy. I think you're crazy. I think you're crazy. Just like me. Ever 
since I was little I look like from and there's no Today was absolutely wonderful. Just had a lovely time. And then Zana turns to me while we're in the kitchen alone and says, This might be the last time they get to see you for a while. And we just sat on the kitchen floor and just swamped. You know how sometimes you wake up and you know it's going to be a good day? Today was one of those days. I woke up, it's 31 degrees outside. It's September in London and it's 31 degrees. And tonight, I am going to see Oh Wonder. For anyone who doesn't know my passion for Oh Wonder, this is like Hamilton obsession, except it's kept a little bit more on the down low because I kind of started listening to them before Cramp started. But they are a small indie alt pop duo from London who are beginning to make it very big. They're playing at the Roundhouse in Camden for their anniversary gig and I got tickets I think about five months ago for pre-sale. I'm going with Rebecca who is the woman I met because she commented on my videos. I'm literally going with someone I met through YouTube. This is the coolest thing. I am so excited. Today is gonna be a brilliant day. How do you know it's filming? It's blinking. Oh, it's flashing. It's flashing. I love it. So we've got an hour and a half <laughs> until doors I open for Oh Wonder. And there's a Chinese restaurant right right there. They're gonna get to deliver to us. I think this is the best idea. Best we've idea I've had ever. Hi, um, we're in the queue across the road um, at the roundhouse. Is it possible to be delivered to us? Two serves of the vegetarian spring rolls. Ask if he's got any forks. Do you have any forks or chopsticks? Can we get two bottles of Coke, please? They're not the massive, like, litre bottles, are they? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Success! So oh, much. Amazing. Okay, wait. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. We got Chinese food. 10 out of 10. I was like that before. I'm just so glad we did this. The queue is going outside the building. We're inside. We're inside the building. It's still about the same temperature as it is outside. It's happening. I'm running. You're coming with me. We're running. Are you actually Yesterday was incredible. Currently wearing some merch, as you do. Rebecca and I had such a lovely time. Rebecca had a little bit of a faint. That was rough for her. And then we just watched such an incredible show. Here's the deal. I went into Oanda yesterday. Now I'm off to go see Funny Girl at the Savoy Theatre with Ella. Oh, it's just a weekend of culture. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It's it was, good. Started off slowly, but I definitely got into it. It's moments like this, I was just telling Ella, that you stop and realise the fact that you walk past this every day and then suddenly you, you notice just how incredible the city is. Thank you. Can I say thank you to a city? Sure. But that will make me almost cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make Ella cry, then I'm going to cry. No. No. This isn't okay. This year is the 350th anniversary of the Great Fire of London, which is why this monument was built in commemoration of the Great Fire, which basically burnt down most of the city thanks to the ovens catching fire and putting rain. <laughs> Monthly videos. We're gonna be cramps. Yeah, I'm having a great time with the barbecue. It is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you look so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> well, good evening. It's a pleasure to be here. We're surrounded by friends, family, and food. Let me just say how 
delighted I am to be here with such wonderful people having such a wonderful time. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. Alright, time lapse it. A man must make a big enough fire for him and his tribe. Explain what big events going on today though. There's two big sporting events in the Irish calendar every year and one of them, the Gaelic football final, I think the All-Ireland football final and Dublin is one of the teams playing so basically it's all going to kick off later. By kick off, I literally mean kick off because it's kicking a ball now. <laughs> All yellow leaves in the cell. For all the sadness that comes with leaving the people and the places you care about most comes so much joy. This month I found it incredibly difficult to accurately articulate what my emotions really were. Of course sadness was there, there were also days when I was blindingly angry, but most days I was so blissfully happy, and that is so important to emphasise. We all like to dwell on the crappiness of a situation kick ourselves for choices that we made in the past which led us to today's events but with all my being I'm trying to remind myself of just how brilliant these last three months have been. Amongst the negatives of my current situation are so many positives. I'm just too easily caught up in the moments I'll miss when instead I should be reminding myself of just how happy they made me. Today I did something I've been doing for the last nine years. I said goodbye to someone that I really care about and that's going to sting for a little while but it slightly changed. It's no longer a goodbye, but a see you soon instead. This isn't final. It's tough in the moment, but I know I'll be back. It's only a matter of time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hong Kong. It is a safety requirement that you remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.